Hi, today I'll be talking about U substitution. U substitution is basically a reverse chain rule. It is useful and is easy to use in order to integrate harder integrals. So let's get started. So the first problem we'll be doing is integrating y equals the integral of 2x plus 7 to the third dx. So what we basically do is we substitute the 2x plus 7 for a variable like u. So let's do u equals 2x plus 7. So then what we do is that we then just plug it in and do u to the third dx. And so what you have to do is that you basically do use the power rule for integrals, which is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, to do u to the fourth over 4 dx. Now, what you have to do is that you have to find a way to remove dx and get du. So let's find du. So du would be the derivative of u. So du would equal 2 dx. Then what you do is you divide both sides by 2 to find d to make dx equal to du over 2 equals dx. You then plug it in. So u to the fourth over 4 times du over 2, which then would mean u to the fourth over 8 du. You finally plug it back in u and you get 2x plus 7 to the fourth over 8 dx. Well, plus c. So let's do another problem like this. So problem 2 is cosine, well, the integral y equals the integral of cosine 5x minus 7. So let's make 5x minus 7 equal to u. So let's integrate this, cosine u. So cosine would become sine u du. So what du would be equals 5. So it will be sine u times 5. And that would just be 5 sine u. You finally plug in u again, and you get 5 sine 5x minus 7. And that is the integral of this problem. Now let's try a final problem. And for this one, we have y equals the integral of x plus 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 3 squared dx. So I believe the easiest one to substitute for u is x squared plus 2x plus 3. So let's make it that. So u equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. And let's set it up like this. So integral of x plus 1, u to the squared dx. Now, to also make it easy on ourselves, we can remove the x plus 1 to make it 1 over u squared times x plus 1 dx. You then solve to find the integral of this. So let's first do it as u to the negative second power. You then use the chain rule, uh, sorry, the power rule for integrals, and that'll be u to the negative first over negative one. 
that will then become negative 1 over u times, well, x plus 1 and dx. You then have to find dx. So what you do is that you do du equals 2x plus 2 dx. And then you solve for dx and you get du over 2x plus 2 equals dx. You then plug it in and get negative 1 over u times x plus 1 times du over 2x plus 2. As 2x plus 2 is twice the amount as x plus 1, this would be 1 half. So it'll be negative 1 over u times 1 half du. So it'll be negative 1 over 2u. You then finally plug in u again, and you get negative 1 over 2x squared plus 2x plus 3. And that is our answer. Oh, plus c. And now that is our answer. Well, these aren't even the hardest problems that you could find. There are much more harder problems, but I would recommend that you try to get some more practice problems, whether they're in your textbook or in online. Thank you and stay safe.